Hello, everyone. Wouldn't you know it. Tuesday's rolled around again, and, uh, well... Hello, Arthur. And, and uh, since last time, things went... Relatively, uh, smoothly. I thought, you know what? Let's keep going. Let's keep doing some of them, uh... Fallout 3 roleplay, shall we? Yes, I think we shall. So, as soon as I push continue, the roleplay begins, right? After the loading screen. It will be short loading screen, but still. And uh, remember, you guys over there uh, in chat will be the voices inside my character's head. So feel free to mess with things. I mean, Final Call is still going to be mine, but... Yeah. Right? Okay. Let's go then. Okay. Well, that happened. Jonas is dead. I killed a bunch of people. The overseer doesn't like me very much. Amada couldn't wait to see me go. The hell do I do now? I suppose I sh should try to find dad, but I don't... What do I say to him? It's like, oh yeah, by the way, you skadoodled off the vault and uh, the overseer went all kind of homicidal on us. Now, is this the town that they were talking about? Um, Springvale? That the overseer said? Let's see. Newts. Uh, the overseer's terminal password is Amada. Of course it is. Uh, spit point lookout. No, I'm not going there just yet. Yeah. It is a shithole. They're all shitholes. <laughs> Especially when half the textures don't load. That was out of character, but yes. Ooh, we find ourselves a uh, Galaxy News Radio. All right. I shall listen to it if I ever do feel bored, I suppose. Yeah, Spring Vale. Spring Valley? Vale. I don't know. They spelled it Vale, so I'm going to call it Vale. I don't even know where that went. I mean, the overseer... The overseer terminal did say that I could... Uh, there was another town uh, built after the Great War. Megaton? Hello, Jill. So... Ooh! There's actually stuff in here. What is this? Uh, let's see. Post Office Department, United States of America. Oh, it's a letterbox. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna take these, and these look like grenades, yep. I know grenades. <laughs> I know a grenade when I see one. So, keep your eyes peeled for things that, uh, may contain stuff. That, that's good. Because, I don't think I have any food. No. I have three bottles of water, and I assume... But, well, this is morphine. We got four stim packs. Uh, a couple of inhalers. Not entirely sure what they do, but the Pip-Boy calls this one Euphoria. A set of X. Causes Euphoria, gives me plus one to Charisma, and radiation resistance of 15. That That's good. And Jet gives me it smells rank what is this thing made of god <laughs> but it according to the pip boy it says it gives me 25 action points uh, oh yeah i never did try vats i suppose i should try it at some point and my old grocknack book can't really eat that i mean i good but i don't think it'll be very um nutritional anything in here Oh, there is a thing in here. Nuka Cola. We had that in the vault. There was Nuka Cola in the vault. What? 
I suppose there's still some Nuka Cola out here. And uh, what else better to survive the uh, nuclear wasteland than. Yeah, the. <laughs> soft drink made with radiation. This cabinet looks more or less intact. Bobby pins, those are always useful. Scotch. And whiskey. I can indulge. Why not? It's not like my life can get much worse. Let's see. What else? I mean, there's a couple of intact places over there. That's odd. Uh, there's a Nuka Cola machine. I mean, we had a vending machine in the vault. It broke down when I was really, really young. But I recognize that. What the hell is this? Well, whatever it is, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Um. Uranium rush. Oh, well, that's kind of what caused this whole thing. Oop, there's something else to look at there. Uh, Spring Valley Elementary. On November 16, there's something. Oh, there was something. Uh, I don't know, this place looks intact. And really clean. Oh. Who the hell are you? Sorry. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Did Moriarty send you? Uh... Who the hell is Moriarty? Um, Colin Moriarty, the owner of Moriarty Saloon in Megaton. That sack of shit is convinced that I'm some crazy junkie who stole money from him. Uh, are you? Uh, okay, so tell Look, me I what used to happened. Work for that slob, doing, you know, favors for guys. Oh, well, okay. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded oh, me a thief and a, a junkie. Scumbag. And sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. Let's take I, 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 I honestly don't like any of these answers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so just give me some of your caps and I'll tell him you're gone? You do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Uh, thank you? I... Alright. Uh... Also, are you... Is Megaton, like, right there? Or maybe it's farther away. I don't actually know. Um, okay. Uh, she gave me 300 caps. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, I'll, I'll, that seems to be her place. So I'll, I'm going to let her be. Uh, that's new. No, there's Megaton. I, I remember that because I saw the uh, the pictures. Hey, beep, 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 beep. I had pictures. I thought I downloaded the pictures of my pit boy I guess I did not. No. Nope. Doesn't seem like I have. Okay. But yeah, no, that's totally Megaton. I remember seeing that. And, uh, thing. Okay. I, I suppose that's where I'm going then. <laughs> I only slightly sorted her. I, I, I didn't know such thing. I literally walked in. And she's like, did Moriarty said she's like, what the hell's Moriarty? Uh, man, she, she told me her story, and it's like, okay, uh, give me some of the caps, and I'll tell you, tell him you're gone. That that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is the deal with the bottle caps anyway? The way that she spoke about him is like currency. I mean, we didn't really use currency. We had the credits in the vault. 
Well, the vending machine seems to be alright. And uh, speaking of them bottle caps, here we go. Three more, I'll take them. So, if they're just currency, I suppose I should carry them around. I guess. Maybe. And I'll take the Nuka Colas as well, because if I have to survive on Nuka Cola, well, I will. Oh, check it out. Keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smile. Yeah, not many reasons to smile right now. What time is it anyway? 7:11 a.m. Wow. This has been a shit day, and I, I clearly shouldn't even be out of bed. <laughs> Yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, uh, Megaton is there, and, well, I suppose if I kept following the road, I would have run into it. There's the sign. Okay. Alright. Well. I could use something to eat, I suppose. It's, it's, uh... It's been... a few hours since I've had anything to eat. I don't know. What does the Pip-Boy say? This damn thing knows everything about me. I'm not hungry. Okay, that that's reassuring. <laughs> uh, Megaton. Megaton. I remember Mr. Brotch telling us about um, some of the payloads of the bombs used in the war 200 years ago. The payloads had about a megaton's worth of explosives in it. Or was that how, uh, how much force was generated? I honestly don't remember. But yeah, no, it's something to do with the bombs. <laughs> it's not that warm. Let's see. It's pretty early in the morning. Now that, uh, that is quite the welcome. Thank you, Mr. Robot. Enjoy your stay now. Thank you? I, I shall. Who's the dude up top? Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Thank you. I guess. Welcome. What does that say? Deputy Weld? Megaton. Friendliest town around. Okay. Thank you, Deputy Weld. <laughs> Welcome to Megaton. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll be damned. You're from that vault, Vault 101. <laughs> the, the I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long oh, time. Oh, it was a jumpsuit. Okay, my bad. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Okay... Let's not antagonize the sheriff, shall we? Uh, nice time you got here, sheriff. Well, it's place to meet you, I guess. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right. I, yeah, no, that, uh, thinly veiled threat was not as thinly veiled as you think it was. Gotcha. I'm glad <laughs> we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? I suppose I'm looking for my dad, middle-aged guy. Sounds like Liam Neeson. Well, he's basically Liam Neeson. Uh, maybe you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. 
I'd ask around town. Okay. I I will ask around town then. Uh, thanks. Mind your manners now. I I I, I will. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. So the gate is actually on the higher highest. It's certainly higher than most of the town, so that's something. Oop, better keep my eyes on these very, very irregular steps. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Hello. <laughs> oh, they weren't kidding. No wonder the place is called Megaton. <laughs> Look at that thing! Well, hello there, sweetie. Let the What's men, on the menu today? Women and children Jericho, of the earth you're disgusting. Come forth Are you going to order something or not? And behold the on, power of Adam. That's a... That's a bomb. That's straight up a bomb. It looks exactly like the pictures that Mr. Broch kept showing us. And drink the Holy of the crap! <laughs> Our salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. No, Jericho. Let it serve Just no. as a reminder now of the division that has occurred in the past and the resplendence of the promise of our division sound rejection in the that times to come. I assume Jericho, that's his name, Give just got there. Give your bodies to Atom, my friend. And Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow and be divided. Wait a second. No Did that dude no just sorrow, actually no ask people to give Only themselves into the atomic bomb from the pain and explode? The <laughs> Yea, your suffering shall exist Okay, no, longer. I guess there's crazy people it everywhere. All right. Um I'm not going to ask him where my dad is. Uh I'm going to ask this person. Stop staring. We only sell drinks here. Uh, I'm sorry. I now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? I... Okay, uh... Suppose I'm oh, looking man, for my looking dad. Oh, your dad? That is so sweet. Did um, he run out on you when you were a kid or something? Our parents died when we were kids. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen your dad. He didn't eat at the Brass Lantern. I'd remember if he did. Okay. Um, wait, you guys sell food? What's on the menu? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, uh... Let me have my Pip-Boy, uh, have a look at these, uh, items here. Okay, so... What the hell's a Brahmin? Brahmin cheese. Uh, it removes radiation. I suppose that's important. You know, considering all the uh, nuclear fallout out there. Um, okay. Uh, oh, wow. This stuff is all stupidly irradiated. What the hell are you people... How do you survive? How? How? Even the Nuka Cola is stupidly irradiated. Yeah, I suppose this one only has, like, uh, the least amount of radiation thus far. Oh, you have stim packs. Uh, that's a very expensive stim pack. And you're not giving me a heck of a lot of money for the two pistols I stole from the guards or the grenades. What the hell kind of wreckage you people run outside? Uh. I don't. Uh, yeah, no, I'll give you oh so you do take caps as a currency all right okay so i'll give you these like, three caps for the food and i yeah no i'll 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 live on some cheese and a salisbury steak that that that's fine enjoy thank you have a good one stranger thank you jenny right okay um, tamper with that and we're going to have a problem man each of us shall know peace I'm confused. And he's still going. Alright. Oh, is this a Brahmin? 
uh, I, uh, I get it. It's like a cow, but with two heads. Right, right, right. I forget. Uh, radiation causes magic to happen. Right, right, right. <laughs> Brahmin. Alright, okay. <laughs> yeah, someone should fix that leak. Uh, I don't know. Uh, right, does that say Moriarty Saloon? I suppose it does. Luxury apartment. Supplies. Well, supplies would be a good idea. And the saloon. Well, I'm going to Moriarty's saloon because um, that's the only other name I've heard thus far. <laughs> Brahmin of the Bahirim. <laughs> Brahmin son of Brondor of the Bahirim. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Uh, crater side supply. Uh, that's a very stylized R, but that okay. It seems like they're still closed. Okay. Um, I knew. See, I knew it was too early in the morning. Uh, leave it to Liam Neeson. I mean, Dad to. Um, leave at the most inconvenient of times. You know, we're not even going to count the whole casualties thing that happened. Supply. Yeah, there's the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> and Moriarty's Saloon. Hmm. Ah, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Goddamn radio. Wait, is that... Damn it. Why won't you work? Work. Come on, work. Just Stupid give it up, radio. dog. We're not going to get You want get something or are you just looking to get your ass beat? Well, I suppose that's Colin Moriarty then. That, that, yeah. Hi there, person. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Okay, before we, um... Do anything else, uh... What did you just call me? <laughs> uh, I... Yeah, no, let's Wait, let's take... Put the not gonna hit me. kibosh on that Yell for a me. second. Not even berate me a little bit? No! No, no! I... What the hell did you... Okay. I'll ask what's up with that whole get up but what well, did you call me that's a surprise i'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because i look like a corpse i'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here listen moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount but for you i'll risk it listen moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount but for you i'll risk it i I swear that wasn't Echo introduced by anything on my end because I heard it too and I don't have the uh, headset plugged into the monitor. So, that was the game. If you want to keep score, that's bug number one. <laughs> um, okay, so... The whole, what did you just call me, we're just not going to get a chance to ask that. Okay, uh, I'm looking for my dad. Oh yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Okay. 
Uh, please, if you do know anything, can you tell me? Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Hey. I mean, he does sound like an asshole, so I'm gonna ask a lady over here. Hello. Yeah? I'm looking for my dad. Yeah, I remember that man. <laughs> I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Right. Um... Enough with the chick routine. <laughs> Do you have anything? Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Yeah, I already talked to Gob. Uh, he wasn't very forthcoming. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What was? Uh, what were you saying about huh? radio stations? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in Phrasing. the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Okay. Uh, Galaxy News Radio, what's that? Are you that? serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. Seriously, the jumpsuit it's didn't the give it away? It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Okay. Um, I mean, if that's all you got, I, I'll get going. <laughs> Is that for me? Are you calling me over? Well, he's not moving, so I assume it's for me. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. and makes you a rather valuable individual. Right. Do you sound any more like Ven and uh, someone might claim <laughs> someone might claim copyright on their own channel. Uh Mr. Bark, is it? Please continue. I find myself uh enthralled. See I can't make it sound anywhere near as sleazy as he does. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. Yes. I Let's call it that rather than sarcasm. Interests. And those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. Oh. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. That that that's literally the first town I just walked into, and there's already someone trying to wipe it off the map. Okay. Uh. Are, are you seriously going to just destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. <laughs> you get to have the real fun. Oh, you the want me to do it? The atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. Oh, you mean that thing All is still ticking? Is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you. At a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Uh, mm. uh, mm. No. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Burke, but that, no. Oh, now hell no. That is a disappointment. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Okay. 
Pai. Uh, are you guys seriously not going to say anything? Morning. Hi. Um, nothing. You just heard that whole... Okay, whatever. Uh, where's Moriarty? I think I saw him back there. Let's let's see if he's still there. Got something on your mind? Uh, looking for. Welcome to Moriarty's saloon. Yeah, what he said. Um. Hello. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's, my saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Right, okay. Um, I'm looking for my dad. Apparently you're the only one who's seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it's Have seen. we met? It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Um. Uh, the. What? I. My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Um, you know, I think I remember old lady Palmer, uh, saying something about my dad having come from someplace. Just when your daddy came and she kind of trailed off there. It, yeah, no, my dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped, oh, five years back. Five years all ago. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've I got mean, better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up door. quick. <laughs> Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Right, okay. Um... So do you know where he is? You God, seem I like a nice kid. Traces. So I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Well, I did get 300 caps for basically free. Um, okay, there you Excellent. go. Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking uh -huh. of dear old dad, he went southeast into DC to the Galaxy News radio station. A good luck now. Seriously? I spent a, a hundred currency things on that? Really? Uh, okay. Uh, Welcome to Galaxy News Radio. Yeah, that that that's that radio station that's not playing very well in the radio there. Can the actually Arnie speaking so of that, can we? Thank you. That 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 was getting on my nerves. So, where's Galaxy News Radio? Show me where it is. Oh, fuck! That's. Far the fuck away. Alright. Okay. I. Ugh. 
Fine. 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 I. Yeah. I'ma just. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not having any of that. Got a problem? Yeah. I don't want to go to Galaxy News Radio. That's my problem. Oh, Hello. God. Oh. You're still here. I thought you skadoodled. I should... I mean, he wasn't exactly subtle about it. You'd think the sheriff would know what he's up to, right? Right? You'd think, right? Right. <laughs> I don't know, what time is it? Um, it's still not 8 o'clock. Uh, I wonder if that's already open. If it's anything like the vault, then nothing is open before 8 o'clock. Armory. Well, where was that armory again? This way. Okay. So we have the saloon. Um... I mean, wouldn't hurt to have something that's not, you know, just a handgun for the dark, well, it's not that dark, but supposedly very dangerous wasteland? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm starting to run out of catwalk here. Uh, Thing there, uh, there's nothing there. Is that the armory? I mean, I'm pretty sure the armory is going to be locked if they even sell anything, but they had a sign to the armory, so. Are you the armory? No. Doesn't look like. It's just a bunch of people sleeping. Okay, um... Yeah, they're all sleeping. I'm, I'm gonna take this. And this, and this. Uh, this thing. There's nothing in the bucket. Or the mop. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's a com- Okay. Oh, it is a common house. Alright. For people like myself who need a place to, you know what, I actually could use some sleep. But not right now. Uh, I know where that is, so that's progress, right? I suppose I should try and find something. Maybe sell this stuff to someone who will pay me a bit more for it. Uh... And this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, li literally anything. So I can buy some something better than a 10 millimeter pist pistol. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a nap. A nap is pretty good right about now. I guess there's no one on this bunk, so... Yeah. Oh, dear sweet pip boy alarm thing. Oh, hello. Nope, sorry. Don't don't let me keep you. I, I just slept there, so... Mind the germs. Okay. Wow. You take the whole germs thing seriously. I didn't think you would, but all right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check the shop. There's... That I did see that shop, Crater Side Supplies, so that sh 
it's almost 9 a.m. now, so th that should be open. Yeah. That's that's not ominous at all. No. Birds circling the people down in the hole. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from don't the mass talk to of our wretched Just and filthy don't body. Don't talk to crazies. It's Each yeah. Each of us shall be mother and father to a trillion civilizations. Uh, if you say Each so, dude. Yeah, no if you say so. Um. No pain, and shall no the shop was up there. Actually. <laughs> Okay, the shop. Are you open? You are! Hot diggity damn! Hello. That's a really nice suit of armor you got there. Vault 101, is it? Huh. Cool Phoenix, thanks for the follow. Um. Can I ask about that? I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Oh Good God, how long was you. I asleep? I'm Moira <laughs> Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Um, sure, uh... Uh, but where did you get that vault suit back there? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours, if you help. Okay, uh... I just tell you about life in the vault and you'll give me the thing? That sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> yeah, I got plenty Great. to say. Great. <gasps> just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. You're really into everything you're saying, aren't you? Uh, paradise, no. Outside places, no, 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 no. Ambassador, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it wasn't very good, and um, the overseer was a homicidal maniac, and, well, his daughter was kind of hot, but she's still the daughter of a homicidal maniac, so good riddance. That's terrible. But it'll be great for a forward. So in that sense, it's great. I think you're going to like it out here. And here's the armored suit. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. You pay me? For what, exactly? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, emphasis. chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? I'm supposed to be going to Galaxy News Radio, but... I kind of don't want to go there, and if I can find some work to keep me fed... For the meantime, I, uh... Yeah, tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice. Like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No. Okay. And they just yell a lot. At me. With mean, mean words. Sounds like you have had some experience in the matter. 
Okay, um, I'll help you with this survival guide. All right, then. I now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Wait, landmines? The, the explodey landmines? That, 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 that kind of, no. Actually, yeah, no, getting food doesn't sound so bad. Uh, what are you looking well, for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they yeah. need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, um, Super Duper Mart, that's close by. Okay, all right. Oh, great. Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Sounds good to me. Uh, do you have anything for sale, or do you buy Ab my things? Absolutely, okay. Um... Uh, so, you can have these grenades, mostly because I don't trust myself with them. And take these two pistols. Uh, and, yeah, baseball bat's not going to be very good. Someone's shooting at me. I'll keep the BB gun for now, just in case. Ooh, wow, you're not kidding. This thing is amazing. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll be using that a lot. Oh, yes. Here, take my uh, spare suits and the armor and... Eh, eh, can't take the helmet. <laughs> Might as well. You're only giving me one of those bottle caps for this? Seriously? That's like the most useful. Whatever. You're not getting it. Um, actually, you know what? Take this because it smells like whatever that cow was letting out of its ass. Um, take Psycho. That that's fine. And this hat of X, I don't trust it. Yeah, take the scotch, take the whiskey. I'll keep the water and the cheese and the insta mash. That seems to be reasonably safe, I guess. And the fancy lad snake snack cakes, snake cacks. Yeah, that would have been a whole different thing. Uh, <laughs> what have you got? Ooh. You do have other things. Like a Browning automatic rifle. Oh. <laughs> well, that, that, that does seem to do a heck of a lot more damage than my 10mm uh, pistol does. Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry, Bob, but I can't, I can't afford that. Not even with the stuff that I'm selling you. Uh, no, sorry. No, donate armor because you just gave me like the thing I wanted. So, uh, maybe an extra sim pack wouldn't be horrible, but that's like most of the money that I'm that I'm getting from you now, already. And I'm not selling you the uh, crazy pills because something tells me I might need them. Um, no, that that that's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll call it that. Good hunting. Oh, actually, uh, if my stuff does break down, can you repair you it? You got caps for me? Then there ain't no problem. That that that's a no double negative. N no. Uh, but yeah, apparently you can fix some things not very well, but you can. All right. If stuff breaks, I'll bring them to you. Okay. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Too forward. Way too forward. So, um... I'm, uh... I'm gonna go behind here and change, right? Not gonna steal anything. I'm just going... Literally going to change my clothes. So... Boop. Ooh, boy. Oh, yes. Now... Now we look ready. 
absolutely ready. Eh, to get shot at, probably. A lot. <laughs> Let's not pull the gun out just yet, just because I heard a noise. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, so where's that super duper mark you were saying? Super duper mark. Where are we at? Okay. Yeah, that's uh, about halfway where I need to go anyway, so. It will be a good landmark to have visited, I suppose. And uh, I have been shot at a lot. I should probably go and have a look at that. Um. There was a doctor's office downstairs, wasn't it? Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yeah, that that very much looks like a gurney. So I'ma go visit the doctor. Commons luxury. Morning. Hello. I will not. I will not be whole. Oh, hi. Okay. Uh, hello. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Okay. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one: Don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my Touché. rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Okay... I got shot at a bunch. Can you help me? Well, now, let's take a look at you. Some second-degree burns, a couple of flesh wounds... It'll take some work, but I can fix you up for 75. 75. Oh, caps, right. You guys use caps, right? Uh, all right. Here. There you go. Hold this for me while I stitch you up. What the? Oops. Well, Oops. that wasn't important anyway. You'll be fine without it. What, what happened All there? better now, you big baby. Can I get back to work now? What was that? Oops. You know what? No, I don't. I don't want to know. That that's all. Yeah. Okay then. Try not to get killed out there. I almost got killed in here, from what I heard. No. He's got some humming skills. Alrighty then. Um, I guess we're looking for food. Okay. <laughs> Yes. I mean, I guess if you run up those steps, they're not too bad, but yeah, those are not even. You're not doing your job. You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? <laughs> Funny. All right. I'm gonna go get some food. Where's the food? The Thirsty, food. partner. Try Moriarty's. I did. It's drinks don't go there. Capital. Um. Where? 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 Oh, there we go. Super duper. Wasteland. To the east. To the east. Okay. All right. <clears throat> to the east then. <sighs> you know, if it weren't for the situation where <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone at some point will come out of that hole in the mountains there and um, probably come ask me for why I killed their dad. Because I killed at least three people's dads that I know. Nope. It wasn't three. It was five. 
Six, if we count. Um, yeah, if we count Officer Mac. But let's face it, with that like that, there's no surprise that Wally turned out the way he did. What the hell's that? What? For some reason, the Pip Boy is saying that that is dangerous. Why? Is it shooting stuff at me? Holy crap, it is! <laughs> I can shoot too. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh wow. It's got better accuracy than I do. Ooh, I suck. What the hell is that? Pip Boy calls it a bloat fly. Ooh, and the meat is stupidly irradiated. Yeah, no, no, uh uh uh. We're having none of that. Let's see. So I'm past the ridge, so I should be able to see a super duper mark. Me, me. I see a bunch of destroyed buildings. Night. Nice. A lot of them. Wait to the east. So it's that building down there. Yes. Yes, I suppose it is. Okay, that's the building where we're going then. Suppose a little run down the hill won't uh, hurt all that much. Although I do remember uh, Dad always saying, "Never run straight down the side of a hill." I'm not entirely sure why, but mm, I mean, I'm already halfway down the side of the hill, and it's fine. So uh, I don't know. Okay, so... Eh, Claire. I need to find some sunglasses. Well, if this used to be a place of commerce... That's a corpse. Hanging from a chain. That was an explosion. Hello? What's, what's, uh... God, what the hell is that? Oh god, they're shooting at me. <laughs> oh! What the hell just happened? <sighs> that felt weird. I was just talking about that corpse there, but it did. <sighs> oh, this looks familiar. Yeah, he shot at me. Like he did just now. Oh! Well, time to use that Pip Boy Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. <laughs> uh, bad timing. Shoot him in the head. Oops. Oh, I see what's going on here. Thanks, Voltech. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> Ah! Ah! 
<laughs> oh, she saw me. I'm glad she didn't shoot back. Okay. So whenever something goes really, really wrong... I seem to go back... a few seconds. God. <laughs> Time manipulation. Anywho, uh, this is a very good gun. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Your gun is not so good, but it does use good ammo. I need that ammo. I need that ammo very much. <laughs> uh, that thing is big and it's got horns. Hello. Uh, you have some ammunition and the jacket that's all covered in blood so you can keep the jacket but I'll take your little schematics thing death claw gauntlet is that what we're doing here well the pip boy does say that this is a death claw Well, fuck me, that is Carrie. Uh, okay. That I might make a gauntlet out of one of your hands then, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, uh... Well, this is a super duper mart, apparently, uh, and this is where I'm supposed to find food, is it? Maybe it was just this outside, you know, maybe. Let's just go in and see if there's any food in there. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think she saw me. And with two deaths, and uh, a walk into the Super Duper Mart, ends the second chapter of uh, our, vol uh, our little Fallout 3 roleplay session. That was, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect to run into a raider with an automatic weapon at the Super Duper Mart. I mean, I know there's one that's supposed to spawn in uh, as soon as you get the stuff the medicine but i didn't expect there to be one in front especially not when i have fallout wanderers edition with 2x damage Fuck. <laughs> anywho that little mishap aside um i'll have to figure out a better way to handle deaths because again i was not expecting that to be the case um but yeah, I, 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 I'll I figure out a way to handle deaths in roleplay better. Anywho, thank you all so very much for joining me. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to overwrite the roleplay save right here. And um, I'm going to walk outside without them coming to get me. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to get ourselves a little cinematic goodbye shot with the death claw here. As I thank you all very, very, very much for joining me. And join me again tomorrow and Ven and Jill for Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. 
It's that midweek show where we talk about all of the not necessarily gaming related Linuxy news. So if that's something you're into, please do join us. The Thursday stream, of course, will be uh, probably Vet and Jordan continuing on with their little adventures in uh, Wolfenstein. And on Saturday, Uven will be doing a stream of something. And of course, Saturday. Did I say Saturday? I mean, if I did, I meant Friday. But on Saturday, it will be um, Linux, uh, Linux Gamecast Weekly, the namesake of this very channel. And if you liked what you saw here today, by all means, go on YouTube. Find the first episode of the series and um, let me know. Things you change, things you like to see ideas for better handling the whole death thing just pretend like it never happened just do something different that's probably what i'm going to be doing from now on uh but yeah no if you have an idea do let me know and since i don't have the emotes mod installed just pretend i'm waving goodbye <laughs> as we stare off into the wasteland so yeah thank you all so very much for joining me and i shall see you tomorrow Peace.